local drone videographer joined us to get a bird's eye view of the wildlife corridor along Kelly Brook in Plasta, New Hampshire. Our journey starts upstream in the Plasta Town Forest. It follows Kelly Brook southeast toward the Beattie Superfund site. Along the brook, you can see large beaver ponds, abutting wetlands, and a documented heron rookery where local residents can enjoy walking trails and platforms for viewing wildlife. As we head downstream, you can see there are large swaths of untouched land on either side of the brook. This forested area is a critical wildlife corridor for numerous species from deer and bobcats to raccoons and more. As we exit the area of the Plastow Town Forest, the developed area of Plastow along Route 125 comes into view at the top of the screen. As we approach the first house in the area, there is still ample open space for wildlife to move about. The drone now takes a left, following along the course of Kelly Brook and heading toward Route 121A. After we cross Route 121A, the Beatty site comes into view at the top of the screen. In fact, you can see the thermal remediation area in the upper right and the groundwater treatment building in the top center of the screen. We're now crossing Kelly Road and can see the Beatty Habitat Restoration Area in the upper left near the groundwater treatment building and the rapid infiltration basins, those sandy areas in the upper part of the screen. In 2020, three game cameras were installed on the site, including one in the wetland area below us along Kelly Brook. Of the three, the one in this area has seen the most diverse animal activity, capturing photographs and videos of many types of animals as they move about the wildlife corridor. You'll now see a residential area as the drone continues to follow Kelly Brook as it turns to the east. This is the spot of a critical juncture of three wildlife corridors as they merge near Old County Road. Kelly Brook runs along the edge of the Beattie site where there is more evidence of beaver activity and we've installed duck boxes that have already been put to use. Along the right side of the screen is the wildlife habitat area where the Beattie site group has added native plantings to foster pollinators, constructed brush piles for habitat, and installed several bat boxes. Route 125 starts to come into view as the drone takes another turn following Kelly Brook as it continues on to other forested areas and wetlands downstream. <laughs>